So it's late afternoon, we're heading out on the Alkali Flats Trail. It's really the only longer trail in the park. It's about five miles and sort of goes out into the farthest area that you can go into the park. We're kind of curious if it'll get us away from the crowds. Don't know how many people are up for a five mile hike. Yeah. Right now the trailhead is, there's a lot of people around us right now. We're about a quarter mile in. It's a pretty popular place it looks like to come sledding. This is where we came out to try sledding as well. We're also trying out a couple of kinds of footwear to see sort of what, what works the best. I'm going for trying to keep all the sand out of my shoes with a pair of hiking shoes and little gaiters. I'm just doing tebas. Letting the sand in, seeing how it goes. Yeah, minimalist tebas at that. So, so we'll let you know how it goes. We're about at the halfway point and we've reached the sign that says you can basically go no further unless you want to step on an unexploded bomb. We don't, <laughs> so we're going to follow the trail. So this is the Alkali Flats where we came out of the dunes and there's this big flat area. It used to be a lake in the last ice age and now it's this, basically a gypsum field. Yeah, and this is where they do the missile testing. You can see some military looking buildings off in the distance. You can sort of tell by the tracks in the sand that there's probably maybe less than 20 people that get out this far. So today the weather is really nice for this hike. It was really the high was only in the probably mid to high 70s um, and it isn't particularly windy. There's barely any breeze at all and so the sun is still intense and we didn't start until um, 4 30 so we definitely it's definitely a morning afternoon late afternoon hike kind of hike but it's a really good chance to get out in the dunes with sort of a, a safety line because there's the you're just hiking from post to post. It's pretty well marked. So we heard that it can be tough to see the poles in a sandstorm. But today it's pretty nice. Yep. So we're about a quarter mile from the car now, but it, the sun is getting ready to set and we thought that we would stop and enjoy that before we finish out the hike. So the five miles took us about three hours or yeah. so. And that was with stopping to shoot video and stuff. So we weren't in any hurry. If it was a, you could definitely do it faster. Today was a pretty much perfect day as far as weather. And so the trail itself is not that, is not that difficult. There's a lot of fairly easy walking and then the uphills are, look, it's like walking in uphill in sand. It's, it's hard work, but there's not a lot of that. Uh, but definitely different weather conditions could make it a lot harder. Yeah, if it was 90 plus degrees and full sun at noon, it would have been brutal. You would need so much water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I went with the sandals and kind of like we figured out, it's just personal preference. Sandals were fine for me. It was nice to kind of feel the, the sand. I like the tactile feel of the cold sand or the hot sand. And while I like that, I knew that having a lot of sand underneath my feet in my sandals was really probably gonna bother me. And so I went with Gore-Tex hiking shoes and my little gaiters. And I feel like at this point, I feel like it kept the sand out of my shoes. They don't feel like there's, doesn't feel like there's sand in there. So we're both happy. So we're it's all good. Let the sunset and head back to the hotel. So something we always forget to do is say, if you remotely liked this video, think about subscribing. And liking the video, that helps us out too.
Thanks. Thanks.